All right, look at this. The incredible images tell the terrifying tale, a fantastic feat, heart stopping and harrowing high above one of California's most picturesque places. But for these brave record breaking brothers and their friends, daring to do what no one's done before is what makes life magical. They were part of a group that just completed a wild walk over wonder, crossing a 2800 foot high line across the valley at Yosemite National Park, 1600 feet off the ground. Now they believe they have broken the previous record for the longest high line walk at Yosemite by nearly three times and they have hair raising pictures to prove it. Joining us now live via Zoom from San Francisco, brothers Daniel and Moises Monterubio and their buddy Steve Griggs. Gentlemen, welcome. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, this is uh, this is pretty amazing. First, tell us what were you thinking? Why did you want to do this? <laughs> Most people would uh, say you're nuts. <laughs> well, just like uh, in any other sport, we're always trying to push the limits and see what we can accomplish with teamwork. I think uh, this was a project that we all came together and worked hard for it, and we got it done. Wow. And you obviously got permission from the park, but tell us how you rigged this lineup and made sure it was secure. Yeah, well, this is the, the funny part because uh, usually we use a drone to get the line across, but in Yosemite, we're not allowed to do it. So we did everything by hand, meaning we repelled from both sides of the cliffs and then people went down in the gullies and connected lines little by little in between clearing obstacles, trees and everything until we finally got it up. And then once we had it up, it was a matter of us um, judging the, the strength of the line with the device we have in the system. And we can determine how strong the line and our uh, security ratio is. Yeah, it still seems like there's a lot of slack in the line, which would kind of make it unstable. How, how, what kind of training do you do for this and how long does that take? Well, we do uh, like climbing training, uh, lots of pull ups, and then we rig constantly lines here around the San Francisco area where we just run laps back and forth. <laughs> There's shorter lines, probably like, uh, like a thousand put long lines uh, that we rig around the area and uh, yeah. Wow, and you shared some video from the center of the line as you were walking it. What is that moment like to be out there? And not only that, but to have the wherewithal to film it. <laughs> well, I stopped to change my music, but honestly, it was uh, very rewarding. I usually never know what's at the bottom of every high line I walk. But in this time, we knew exactly what was at the bottom, and I just saw all the work we did at the bottom, which was really cool. And then just like being actually on the line, able to experience, uh, well, the line itself was really very rewarding. And Steve, you shot uh, some incredible photos as you were walking. Uh, what to you was the hardest part about getting across safely? Yeah, well, um, yeah, it was pretty cool to be able to shoot everybody and get really amazing images and then at the same time get on it as well. I mean, me personally, I'm terrified of heights, so this whole process of high lining is pretty funny for me, but um, he was, he's terrified it's really of cool when you, know, you, <laughs> yeah. you can get out there and finally kind of trust yourself and trust the gear that you're, you're working with and uh, it's an amazing experience, yeah. Glutton for punishment. All right, and here is the kicker. Sometimes you fell. Now, luckily, you had a safety tether, but what is it like to fall? <laughs> it's not too bad. Sometimes it's actually pretty relieving, um, but uh, you definitely get shook up sometimes with the exposure and knowing that you're just hanging there by one rope. But uh, you quickly climb back up and get your head back and stand back up and keep going. We have some video yeah, that's going to uh... show it. Oh, Ooh. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Insane and, and continue. You were starting to say something about falling. Yeah, I uh, uh, wanted to say that it's a really safe sport. Uh, and we've all have collected expertise at the moment of rigging where we were. We determined that it's that's safe to do it, safe to fall. Um, so, yeah, we wanted people to know that it looks pretty crazy, but it's actually a lot of safety and science behind it. Yeah. Yeah. All Do right. Not real, try this at home real quick. What's next for you guys? Yeah, so um, I mean, we've got a lot of bigger, longer lines planned, um, but we're also just trying to like really get a lot more of an audience out there and hopefully be able to bring this to like events or even urban scenarios and between buildings maybe one day. Uh, so yeah, if any uh, anyone's interested, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, not only All setting right. records, we want to 
bring an audience out to this. So. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us and for our viewers. If you do want to stay updated and follow the guys on their journey to see what's next, you can follow them on Instagram. Their handles are all right there on your screen. And keep wearing that harness. I don't want to end up like the great Willinda, you know. <laughs> thank you guys so much.